Hey there, card fighters. It's me, Royal Paladin 813, also known as David Schuler. Um, me and a uh, little bit of my actual team, Sigma Omega, went to uh, the Atlanta Regional. And as you can see from this, the part that went with me as Team O2 Drop ended up pulling third place. And I had a couple of people ask me online already if I could post my deck list for them. I had a couple of admins in the North America card fight group already talk to me, asking me if I could post my deck list. And the entire ride back, I had one of my friends with me in the car telling me that apparently this was blowing up. But I don't know about that last part because I was too busy driving to do any of that. But yes, this is my World Championship Spring Fest qualifying deck list. Um, I could have entered and used the Blizzas because, well, Bushi Road's awesome like that, but I chose not to. I used for my generation deck, because just to get it out of the way since it's so generic, four copies of Heat, four copies of Atmos. Um, only time I ever strode was when I wanted to gain hand advantage, so it didn't really happen that often, because I don't really need to gain hand advantage that much with this deck. Uh, starter is uh, Starvader Dusttail Unicorn. Obvious effect Pioneer, plus he has the Counterboss 1 Soul Charge, lock an opponent's rear guard if they already have one locked. Trigger lineup is 4 heal, because, well, that's standard. And then, like the last time I did a Starvader deck profile update, I still run the 12 crit build. Because, first off, nobody wants to play against Link Joker anymore. Especially with the way the meta is. So 12 crit, ending it even faster when they're not able to get their setups because they don't want to get their setups out of fear of what I might do. Did help. 12 crits, 4 heals. That's the grade 0 lineup. Grade 1, I run 4 copies of Prison Gate Starvader Palladium. Uh, Counterblast 1, Soul Charge. When my opponent's rear guard becomes locked, or sorry, becomes unlocked, I may pay cost if I do relock it during the end phase. Four copies of Demon Claw Starvader Lanthium. Naturally, the four PDs because they're in there. And then the tech card that I was running that I kept on having to pull out my phone for because before the trip, just in case, I went online and I messaged Bushi to get an official ruling because I knew I would have to stop. And then I ended up getting stopped twice later on in the tournament for it. Deception Starvader Nickel. And this was actually the tech go-to card for consistency help, because its effect is once per turn when I lock an opponent's rear guard, I can ditch a draw. But if I lock multiple cards simultaneously, its effect is activating once, but I can resolve its effect multiple times. So if I lock two of your cards with the uh, Legion, then I get a ditch and draw twice. Or if I go blast your Joker and I lock your entire field, I can do a ditch and draw five times. So it does help. It does speed it up, and it just makes it a little bit more consistent. After that, I play one Colony Maker. Um, I actually never used her effect the entire tournament. I usually just tried to go to her as my ride for turn. I used three copies of Furious Claw Starvader Neobium. Every time I lock, plus 2k till end of turn. So whenever I stride, he's uh, 13k. Just in case I had to deal with cross rides, I didn't have to boost him. If I am boosting him, I can just keep on getting huge numbers, and it gets awesome and hilarious very fast. Standard, Radon, because it's Radon. Guaranteed 12k is always a good thing. And then I also run four copies of Photon. Um, honestly, ace monster of the deck right now is Photon, because all I'll do is I'll use, like, Chaos Breaker, Garnet Star, something like that, to lock a unit. And then Photon instantly allows me to go set up for a triangle lock. Because if I go Garnet Star, I'll just Triangle Lock, Back Row Vanguard Booster, Rear Guard, and then Photon Lock the other Rear Guard, knocking them down to not being able to do anything. Or if I go Chaos Breaker, I'll go Chaos Breaker, Photon, and then I'll use the Starter, Soul Charge it, Lock the other uh, Interceptor, and now they can't do anything. After that, Grade Threes, I went a little bit old school. I do run three Chaos Breaker Dragons, and like I said, it's old school tech. This is probably one of the most consistent cards in the deck. I love him so much. I love riding him second because that way I can have a bigger soul and I can use his effect more often because when I do photons, I just nuke field and it's awesome and it's hilarious and they don't know what to do to stop it. I run four Garnet Star just for consistency purposes. It'll just let me get a giant center column without having to stride. So that way I can also apply pressure and lock field and keep them stopping from doing their game. 
And then the one random tech was, of course, Blaster Joker. I never fully used its effect during the entire tournament. And I also only one time ever locked the entire field. But he did help, and I did end up winning a couple of games and fun matches with him because he is a phenomenal card. I'm not going to knock it. He is great. And the deck itself was, like I said, super consistent. As you can see, it obviously did pretty good if it was able to get me up into the top three. Um, Matchups today were, or not today, but when I went, I should say. Round one, I played against Musketeers. Round two, I played against uh, Royal Paladins. Round three... Shoot, what did I play round three? What did I play round three? I literally did not play the same clan twice until the finals. So I ended up going after the eight rounds of Swiss. I played eight different decks. It was Bermuda Triangles. No, Bermuda was round four. Round three, I don't remember. OTT? That was uh, round seven or... Yeah, that was round seven or eight. Um, But yeah, anyway, I ended up playing a bunch of different decks. And every single round, I, no joke, every single round I played against my mm-hmm. opponent. As soon as I flipped over my starter, they're like, I haven't played against Link Joker all day. I haven't played against Link Joker all day. So that means out of the 500 plus competitors, I'm pretty sure there were only at most two or three Link Joker players. Nobody in this meta was ready for the matchup. And that really, I kind of think, helped seal a bunch of the games that I did win. So yes, card fighters, like always, I hope you enjoyed the video. And rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.